Hello, I'm John Smizer, and it's great to be with you today. Can you imagine? It's only 10 days till Christmas. Have you got your shopping list all bought up and ready to share? Or are you still one of those last minute people? Well, in our family, we got our Christmas gift a, a little bit early. It's a very special young lady. She is new to the family. She's five and a half months old, and she is going to be such a wonderful young lady. I can tell already, she's a pleasant person to be around. She smiles, and, and she listens, and she loves to be held. Now, she does have uh, opportunities when we can kind of help be part of her life because she cries and she lets us know something's not right. And you know what they're not right. It's the not right is her diaper's messy. So at that point, grandma or her daddy or mommy kind of take over and, and uh, change Harper's diaper. And that boy, after she gets her diaper changed, she is once again the perfect little girl until she starts crying again. And you, you go, well, we just changed your diaper. What's the difference? And then you know she needs some nourishment. She's wanting some mother's milk. She's wanting some formula. Now in ways the mother's milk is more desirable to her than the formula, but she really lets you know when she's hungry when she, she wants that special nourishment, and that's when she cries, and you can help her out and provide for her. First Peter chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. Therefore rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. Like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation, now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by humans but chosen by God and precious to him, you also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For in Scripture it says, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now to you who believe, this stone is precious, but to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that causes people to stumble and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Here we are, Tuesday it's the 15th of December, and our passage of Scripture today begins in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. It reads, Therefore rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, slander of every kind. Can you imagine a group where the people in that group are all deceiving one another? There, there, there's malice towards one. They don't like each other that much. There's hypocrisy. There, there's envy and slander of every kind in that group. Can you imagine that? But can you imagine that it might even be in the church? Because that's where Peter's writing to these folks. He's, he's telling a group of Christians of how they should conduct themselves, how they should act towards one another. It's just like Harper needed to have her diaper changed when she gets it messy. And when a group of Christians have this kind of mess going on, 
They need someone to come alongside and ch change their diaper or call them to account for it to realize that this is no way to act anymore. Now, they may have acted this way because of maybe their families do this with one another. Maybe this is the, the, the business they're in. But Peter here is saying, stop it. Get rid of all of that filth. Change your diaper. Let's get on with the things that God has for us. And what he has for us, what God intends for him, is in verse 2. It says, like newborn babies. Can you see why I talked about my granddaughter? Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk. That's, that's hungering. And boy, if Harper's hungry for it, she's going to let you know it. And that should be the, the, the call for uh, wanting to hear God's word from, from new believers. They should have such a hunger and a zeal to know what God wants to share with them from the word. And Peter's encouraging them to uh, the idea of the, the craving uh, this pure spiritual milk. And it's not just so they can satisfy themselves. No, there's purpose. And, and the word goes on, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. See, because as new Christians, um, a lot of things need to be changed in our life. A lot of old habits, a lot of ways we used to treat one another need to be done away with. And so it's at that point that Peter's approaching them about get rid of this stuff, change your diaper, and then, like a new baby, desire to have that understanding of God's Word, to, to grow up and, and allow that Word to transform us, to, to change our lives, that we, we are no longer what we once were because God loves us so much He doesn't want to leave us there. He wants to take us on to the, the more mature uh, Christian life. And then verse 3 says, Now that you have tasted, the Lord is good. Because once you do know that God is a good God, you want to have more time with Him. You want to grow in that relationship. Harper is a great little baby, and she's a joy to spend time with. But there's times when her diaper needs changing and times when she needs feeding. So in Galatians chapter 6, it opens up where that if those who are more mature come across some people who need to have their diaper changed, go help them deal with those things. And for those who are hungering for God's word, teach them, show them the way. And the purpose of this is as Harper's going to grow up to be a beautiful young lady, so this Christian community is a, a sense of growing up into a building of God. It says, as you come to him, the living rock rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to him, God, you also like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. So in these ways, there's a, a, a future design. For Harper, she's going to grow into a, 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 a young lady, uh, then she'll become a teenager, and look out then, but then she'll become a, a young woman, and then she'll become a mature lady. And it's in those ways that the diaper change now, the giving of nourishment now, is what she needs so that she will grow strong and, and be something very attractive. And so for this Christian community, they need the diaper change, they need the nourishment, and they will grow up to be a special holy priesthood glorifying God.
like little Harper, my granddaughter. She's a beautiful child. And her family loves her. Her grandparents love her. I want you to know that in God's eyes, you are a beautiful person. And God loves you so much. He's going to help guide you in the growing years. He's going to help guide you into the next steps. And at some point, you'll take those responsibilities, as a parent does, to nurture and encourage future Christians. I just want you to know that you are loved by God. You are beloved, and you are a blessing to Him. And so, as you understand your position with Him and your place in God's kingdom, I want you to know that there's a great future for you. How Harper will grow and be a blessing, the people that see her and, and get to experience her personality and have a, a relationship with her and, and grow from her experiences. So there are people in your life that will experience God's love because they watch it in you. In that way, I pray that God would build you up. Would you pray with me? Gracious Father, in these days, we would pray that you would help clean up those areas of life that are filthy. Help rid us and desire to get rid of that. And Lord, may our hearts be hungry to, to grow closer to you, that, that we would desire to spend time in your word and praying and enjoying the fellowship with other believers so that our salvation would grow and be fulfilled. Father, bless us in the future.